boy. We're sure glad to see you guys. What you find out? We still don't have any clues as to what that ghost craft is that's flying around in the air. Or old Mr. Creepy who keeps popping up all over the place. Well, it seems to me that our ghost from outer space is using this airfield for something else besides haunting. <laughs> What's the matter, Scoob? <laughs> you mean there's gas in the exhaust pipe? In this old relic? By golly, it's a clue, all right. This motor's been running recently, but it couldn't possibly run. It's got four flat tires. Maybe that's what someone wants us to believe. Get a load of this. Mmm, like an extra set of wheels. Instead of getting clearer, this mystery's getting cloudier all the time. Zoinks! A ghost jeep! <laughs> It's that Goonie ghost from outer space. Jumping jelly beans. There's a whole army of them. Yeah, and I'm going to show them a good old army maneuver. Retreat! <laughs> Quick, in here. Well, I'll be. Looks like we struck real pay dirt, Scoob. Look at that equipment. And I'll bet you that mic is hooked up to loudspeakers on this crazy old airfield. Oh. We'd better get Freddy and the girls up here on the double. What is that? That has to be Scooby. They must have found something up in the tower. Let's go. I hope we're not too late. Look. Oh, no. Let's run for it. They got the message. Here comes Freddy and the girls. <laughs> Uh-oh! Here comes Mr. Trouble, too! Those chairs aren't gonna keep him out of here, Scooby. We better think of something else. <laughs> Parachute? Only as a last resort. A very last resort. Go, oh, the ghost! <laughs> We're too late. That ghost has gotten to Shaggy and Scooby first. Oh, no! Don't jump! Geronimo! Well, we're glad we found you. What are you doing here, Mr. Farmer? I got worried about you when I saw your car parked by the gate. That's when I called the sheriff. I'm glad he did. It's high time we got to the bottom of these shenanigans. Sheriff, look! He's getting away! <laughs> I think our glowing friend just made a bad mistake. Come on! He ran in that door. What is it? Wind tunnel. This ought to be good. Start it up, Freddy. Now well, take a look at our ghost from outer space. He was wearing rubber boots to make those strange tracks. Dipped in phosphorus, no doubt. You can, like, shut it off, Fred. He's had enough of being a space ghost. Well, I don't believe it. It's Henry Bascom, my next-door neighbor. But what about those weird noises and the flying thing? Uh, come on, I'll show you. It was a very clever plan. Here's our ghost crack. Like home movies. But what about those odd voices? It was just a speeded-up soundtrack. Played over the loudspeaker. But we did see a whole bunch of those creepies over by the motor pool. Wanna bet they're all stuffed dummies? And you wanna bet that crazy Jeep was run by remote control? The last remaining puzzle in my mind is why. Now, I can answer that. This Bascom fella got wind that the Air Force was planning to open the field again and would be needing more land for jets. Aha, so that's it. He wanted to scare us off so he could pick up the land cheap. And I'd have done it, too, if you kids hadn't have come along. Uh, weren't you kids scared like the rest of us? Oh, no. Solving mysteries is our hobby. It takes a lot to scare us.